All right, we're back here. I just had to offload the memory chip, but uh, we just finished discovering to our satisfaction that leader is at the dead center of Jesus. Mathematically, stunningly. A one, a two, and a three for the Trinity, okay? E equals E, okay, in one letter. AR equals S in two letters. And then LDE equals U in three letters. Jesus is the leader, and Jesus owns the word leader. I am sick and tired of false phonies using the English language, profiting off the sheep using the English language, throwing words around everywhere, and they are not talking about Jesus. They are not giving glory to Jesus. They are imposters, and they are coming to an end. Their kingdoms are numbered, like Daniel prophesied. He says their influence, the days of their influence are numbered. Their time is short, and their time is going to run out by God's sovereign hand, and God is going to take and put real leaders in their place to glorify Jesus Christ when they have the microphone. Remember, micro equals father equals phone. Okay? I'm here to declare the truth of the words so that men get transformed by the words themselves. It has nothing to do with the messenger. It's the words themselves that God owns. Okay? Um, so, let's see here. Uh, that was a huge revelation, so I'm just marking that. Um, leader at center of Jesus. And the letter for letter correlation was so beautiful. So, um, so let's, let's repeat that. Leader is at the center of Jesus. Okay. Um, so the E in leader equals the E in Jesus. The AR in leader equals the um, S in Jesus. And then the LDE equals the U in Jesus, which is so beautiful because one letter makes the first letter, two letters makes the second letter, and three letters makes the third letter. Wow! That is a flawless, trinity-glorifying experience. Do you, do you see how God is maximum, and he has wasted nothing, and the spelling has been perfect, and the math is perfect to maximally glorify the entire trinity in this whole experience, and everyone can do the math. That's why this is so powerful, because this is going to change nations. This is going to change schoolhouses. This is going to change Harvard, Yale, Princeton, UBC, you name it. <laughs> it's like <laughs> every Cambridge, Oxford, Pepperdine, every schoolhouse. I am claiming every single schoolhouse and institution and building of learning on this planet for gematria the glory of Jesus, Gematria equals Jesus, and all of them are going, they are going to be compelled and forced to face this giant of God's glory known as Gematria. They are going to be forced to behold the glory of God. Gematria is the glory of God. And um, they are going to teach it to future generations. If they want the glory, if they want true satisfaction, that is what they will offer. If they do not want it, the people will go elsewhere to get it because people want the satisfaction and they will go anywhere. They will go to my channel on YouTube if they, so be it. They will go to my channel on YouTube. They will go wherever they need to go to get their satisfaction. They will exit Harvard. They will exit Yale. They will exit these universities and they will go find it. God himself will give it to them like he did for me. Um, okay. I am is at the center of you. That's so good. So leader, I am so satisfied about that. Leader is the center of Jesus. And it, it just really came to light very strongly. Let's just, I just want to satisfy quickly now my curiosity on these letters leader and just quickly satisfy my, um, curiosity as to the different ways that you can um, yeah there's only one way to get 19 that's the A and the R two ways to get 21 but it's both LED so the E there's the S yeah so you must choose an E to equal the E in Jesus you must choose the AR to equal the S in Jesus, and then the remainder LED equals the U in Jesus. Now, what it behooves one. Now, when you look at the word uh, 
leaders, right, or leadership. Okay, that's enough for now. So uh, we, we go to the center of words and we align centers of words with centers of other words that are obvious. So Jesus is the leader. Um, the word path, same discussion. Path is at the center of Jesus. Jesus is the path. Um, Jesus is above. Interestingly, the center of the word Jesus is also the center of the word serve. Okay, Isn't that profound? Jesus taught that leaders serve. Oh, that's good. This is so good. Jesus taught that leaders... I'm going to cry because we have the biggest problem of all time. We have the biggest problem of all time on planet Earth. Crappy fathers. I've said it before. I will say it again. We have crappy fathers. We have crappy leaders. We have crappy examples. We have crappy elders. If there's one people group that must be rebuked on planet Earth, it is the elders. Because you have been on this planet the longest. You are supposed to be our example. You are supposed to know what it's all about. You are supposed to have taught us what the way is. You are supposed to have done the work, done the research, done... We we have crappy fathers. We have crappy leaders. We have crappy elders. We have crappy political leaders. We have crappy people who are older than us. And young people are waking up and they're going to God himself to get their satisfaction as all men and all women should. But back to our leader, serve. So the center of Jesus. And look at, look at the correlation. I encourage you by God Almighty right now. Put the word Jesus on top of the word serve. The E lines up perfectly. The R and the S differ by a single point. And then the V and the U differ in a, from a single point in the other direction. Jesus, leaders, Jesus, serve. First of all, you serve Jesus, who is our leader. But leaders serve. Leaders serve. Leaders serve. Leaders serve. From, from a female, Mother Teresa served. And she was a leader in love. I believe someone like K.P. O'Hannon serves. Leaders serve. powerful. It's powerful. Because you, you really can't argue with a servant. You can't argue with someone performing a humble act of uh, love or blessing towards someone else. If you even try and punch that in the face, God is going to punch you in every cell of your body. That's crazy. The word elect is at the center of Jesus. And the word tip is at the center of Jesus. But um, the strongest, the, the most impacting um, above Jesus from above, that's, that's also glaring at the center of Jesus. But um, in my opinion, leader is at the center of Jesus. That's the strongest. It's, everyone's following someone. If you're not following Jesus, you are what we call lost. You simply haven't found the highest satisfaction yet. And, she, and sheeple are waking up like crazy. They're casting off crappy jobs. They're casting off crappy businesses. They're casting off crappy companies. They're casting off crappy managers. They're casting off crappy CEOs and crappy leaders. They're casting them off like flies and saying, I'm done with this, Phil. I need a real leader. Jesus Christ. I need a real leader. Jesus Christ. Say it right now. I need a real leader. I need a real leader. Jesus. 
you know, once you know the math on the word leader and the word Jesus, it behooves you to say those words side by side everywhere you go. Say, I need a real leader, Jesus. I need a real leader, Jesus. I need a real leader, Jesus. I need a, <laughs> it's like, I need a leader who inspires me. I need, I need his name on my mouse. I need his name on my keyboard. I need his name around my monitors. I need a real leader, Jesus. I need a real leader, Jesus. It, like I said, we can't even imagine how different the world is going to look when people get saved because it's so dirty right now. It is so dark. It is so ugly. And what's the ugliest of all is the leadership. There is no leadership. The people who run companies, the people, who, and it's all because the sheep are in darkness. They don't have any strength. They don't have any, they don't have any power to leave the company because they don't have the blessing of God to provide for them otherwise. And so they're afraid. They're afraid for their paychecks. They're afraid for their money. They're afraid because they don't have the blessing of God to provide for them. You give people, it's just... Okay. There's no worthy leader unless they know Jesus. It's all a phony. It's not going to last. The organization, the way as you currently see it, is not going to last in that condition. It's going to change. Eventually, the God leaders, the true Jesus worshippers, are going to end up on top. That's what, they, that's what is going to happen. Things as we see them right now are not going to last this way. Okay. The Bible promises that. Read Psalm 37. Okay. Um, and so, leader. I'm so excited about that. A one, two, three perfection fast. Leader at the center of Jesus. Um, now i got to keep track of 45s wherever I see them. Um, okay. Um, I would like to... Um, I would now like to find that number leader just in, in the, the title of Christ and just see what's there. Yes. Amazing. I love it when there's only one way. There's one way to find 45 in Christ, and that's H-R-S. Christ is the leader. And then the rest left over equals life. Christ equals life leader. Isn't that amazing? It's, it's just maximum. The amount of titles of God that are mathematically sitting in C-H-R-I-S-T is going to blow the world away. This is, i got to write this down. So Christ equals life leader. Like two of the greatest titles of God. He is he is the life and he is the leader. Well, mathematically, split. Remember, word equals diamond. Word equals diamond. Split. Split the diamond of Christ into, into smaller diamonds. Okay? The H and the R. There's only one way. I love it when there's only one way because it makes things easy. And H, R, S equals leader. Um... Just doing a little comparison. So HRS equals leader and the rest equals life. So Christ equals life leader. <laughs> That's good. How about let's find leader in Father. That would make sense, would it not? Because Father is the leader of the Trinity. Yes, hallelujah. There is one way. There is one way to find 45 in Father. And that's F A T. R. What's left over is he. He leader. He equals 13. I um, don't have a... Um, what's interesting is if um, if you were to pluralize, there are many fathers that God has ordained on earth, like, you know, and if you pluralize father to fathers, then you end up with life again. Then fathers equals Christ um, equals life leader. Okay. Um, it's true. It's, folks, there, there are many stupid men on this planet. Many. Countless. And women are frustrated. Young people are frustrated. Children are frustrated. They are frustrated as hell. They are pissed off. I, folks, I have tutored children. I have tutored many people in the school system. I have been in many schools. I have been around the books and all that junk and I have
felt it. I have been through it. I have smelled it. I have endured it. And it is hell. It is absolute hell. And the young people are getting called out by God. And they are pissed at their forefathers. They are just pissed at their former teachers, their former masters. They are saying, you were a piece of crap. You did not give me anything that was satisfying. And you sucked. Um... And rightfully so. They, they are pissed. So, Father has leader in F-A-T-R, 45. Done. So, Father is um, the leader. Now I'm seeing the center of the word Jesus quite beautifully in the center of, um, or in, in the letters Father. It's important to uh, add it all up. Um, who, who else is a leader? Well, let's check. You can easily check Holy Ghost and all that. Let's just start with the word Spirit, and then we'll do Ghost and Jehovah. Yeah, Spirit, P-I-T, the word pit. The word pit is leader. See, I love metaphors. This is so good. What does a pit, you know, the pit of a seed, what does a pit and a tip and a tip have in common? What does a pit and a tip have in common? They are both at the center. And they both develop first. The pit is the, is the center. It is the beginning of the fruit. It is the beginning of the plant. The pit, the seed pit. The tip is the top, the, the center. But those words equal leader which is the center of the word Jesus. So leaders, true leaders, will never be satisfied until they are in the center of it all, until they are the one that are giving orders to other people. I know that I am a true leader with a great future that God has ordained for me, and I hate insubordination, because how can we get anything done? If people are not willing to obey my commands and follow my direction, nothing will get accomplished. Nothing will get done. Um, and no growth will happen. But God is infinitely, like God is our, so that is amazing. This, the Holy Spirit is a leader, or you can just say the Spirit is a leader. But the only way to find the word leader mathematically in spirit is the word pit, in order, P-I-T, P-I-T, which spells tip, which spells pit. Okay, so let's, so, so tip equals pit equals leader, and all of them are at the center. A tip is on top and at the center. The pit is the core. The leader is at the center. Okay? We got so many false leaders today, and they're all going to come crashing down because they're all serving their own kingdom. They're, they're, it's like Jesus said, their castle is built on sand. They're not building on Christ, and they're going to come crashing down. God can strike them with disease in an instant. He's saying, you haven't been glorifying my son Jesus. Yeah, you, sure, you've been running an organization, you've been harvesting money, and you've been collecting things and doing all these things. If you don't glorify my son Jesus, it's over, and your legacy is going to go bye-bye. So, leader all um, at the center. Just a bunch of scum and villainy. Just every tutoring house, every schoolhouse that says you're not allowed to talk about God is a piece of trash. It just, it's like, why don't you just chop people's balls off? Like, you've just taken away the creme de la creme from human beings. It's so stupid. It is absolutely stupid. It, like, if you do not begin a, a tutoring session with God, like, folks, I've been through it enough now. Like, now I am actually convinced that if I do not begin a tutoring session with God, if I do not begin a teaching session with God, the whole thing is cursed. Like, I'm preaching to myself. Like, this is painful to realize how disgusting our school system is and how disgusting our teachers are and how hideously lost all of these people are. They are totally ugly. They are totally disgusting. They are totally unsatisfying. They are totally empty. And it's all going to get exposed. And all these beautiful young people are going to wake up one day and say, you guys were pieces of trash. You were pieces of trash. 
Your brains were trash. Your words were trash. You didn't tell us anything about God. You didn't tell us anything about Jesus. You weren't seeking the truth in your own time. You were apparently not concerned about truth. At least not God, like, who is truth. Like, you're just like, young people are waking up. And they're pissed. And they're rightfully pissed. All right. Okay. So that is huge. Um, so we found leader in spirit. Um, you can find leader in the word holy as well. Just pop off the O. So Holy Spirit has a leader-leader combo. The Holy Spirit is my leader. People say, oh, I am led by the Spirit. <laughs> well, it would behoove us to find spirit. Enough said. Now, if we just say, oh, I'm led by the Spirit, find leader in the Spirit, and there'll probably be more instances. Yeah, there's just more instances now. The word tip comes in. Now you get, well, we had it before, T-E-T. -E -T. Now you get the H-S-R. And amazingly, you get a beautiful hopscotch, perfect symmetry for leader in the Spirit. Now I'm curious, aren't you? I'm curious about perfect patterns, like find... Um, find leader in the Holy Spirit. Because we know leader is at the center of Jesus. That was irresistible, and that's what kickstarts, has kickstarted this whole search now for leader in, um, in the other members of the Trinity. Um, okay, let's check in a few things. So let's try the Holy Ghost. And then we'll find leader in Jehovah and in Ghost. Because if there's one thing this world needs, it needs to know who its true leaders are. So let's find leader in Jehovah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here it is. Leader is at the dead center of Jehovah. Pray. Oh my God. I'm getting revelations. This is going to blow your mind. This is going to blow your mind right now. And I had this revelation from the Lord a long time ago. You know how on highways you have the HOV lane? And the people who, get to, who drive in the HOV lane get to go faster and they become the leaders? Well, H-O-V is the three letters at the center of Jehovah, and those letters equal leader. And in the sovereignty of God, on every freeway that has an H-O-V lane, high occupancy vehicle, those people get to whiz past all the other drivers. Isn't that profound? And you start thinking to yourself, well, why would God bless that? Why would God approve of high occupancy vehicles? Because God loves family. God loves unity. God loves sharing. God loves people working together. God loves people chatting with each other. God loves conversation. God loves people being together. God is a trinity. God would love to see every vehicle full of three people sailing down the HOV lane. That's profound. HOV is at the center of Jehovah, which equals leader. And now I'm comparing those letters. That's profound. Okay. This is so good. Um, you just you're just called out of darkness. What a, what a hellhole! You just you know. So the center of Jehovah is leader. H O V. H O V. Obviously, that's the first three letters of hovering. So, hover is leader I am. Think about that. Think about that. There's one person that I know of that performed many acts of hovering on this planet. Jesus. Jesus hovered when he walked on water. Jesus hovered when he ascended into heaven. Jesus knows how to hover. Like, that guy can hover. You know, he, he, he likes hovering. Like, <laughs> people talk about the hoverboard. I'm like, no, Jesus hovered. H-O-V equals leader, and that's hovering. So when you say hover, er equals I am. So hover is I am leader. That's Jesus. And, and why would someone hover? Oh, so they can be vertically above their followers. You know, Jesus ascended into heaven as the ultimate, like, physical demonstration that he's the leader. He's above. Like, we look up to him. You know, when Jesus walked on the water, he, and I've said, 
you know, the purpose of hovering is to lift something up. So hover, HOV equals leader. And think of the HOV lane, and we did that already. The HOV lane. <laughs> so now you can call it this. Did you know that the HOV lane is the leader lane? And it is. The HOV lane is the leader lane. And leaders get to use the HOV lane. Why? Because they have followers. <laughs> and they're the people in your vehicle. So if you're a man and you're the leader of your wife and your children, well, you've got them in the car with you and you get to be leaders in the HOV lane. The HOV lane is the leader lane. <laughs> I love Revelation. So the HOV lane is the leader lane. And the definition of a leader is someone who has followers, which means there's a group of you inside a vehicle together. Oh, yeah. I love Revelation. So HOV lane equals leader lane. And HOV is at the dead center of Jehovah and leader is at the dead center of Jesus. That's good. The HOV is a one, a two, and a three, just like the ESU and Jesus. A one, a two, and a three. One letter is plus one. That means you divide the letter by three, the remainder is one. One is at plus two, and the other divides by three. HOV, one, two, three. ESU, one, two, three. And uh, the word leader is one, two, three from the inside out. It's all coming to light now. The word leader has two plus ones at the center, then two plus twos, the E's, then two threes on the outside. So going this way, leader is one, two, three. Going that way, leader is one, two, three. And at the center of Jesus is one, two, three. And at the center of HOV is one, two, three. That's the center of Jehovah, one, two, three. By the way, it's also the center of ghost. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. So the ghost is a leader. Oh, yeah. She's giving it to me. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So the HOV lane is the leader lane. All right. So we're finding this title of God leader in Jehovah. That was the dead center. Now let's find leader in, um, we did father. Just to clarify my satisfaction, how about the Father? Oh yeah, that puts some um, 45 right in there. Um, Godhead. Um, leader. We found it in Christ. We found it in Jesus. Um, just quickly the Holy Ghost. Okay. Yeah, there's many instances. Um, I'm just looking for um, symmetrical ones right now. Yeah, there's many instances. So, yeah, you can find the word leader in... Uh... Cool. Okay. Makes sense now. Oh, that's good. That's really good. So, um, so leader is one, two, three. Man, there are, I repeat, there are so many cocky, arrogant, prideful, demonic professors and teachers in this world that honestly think that they are the cat's meow when it comes to wisdom and knowledge and worthiness of their voice and it is all going to get exposed by this one glory pile known as gematria it is all getting exposed right now that god owns every word in the english language and all of these selfish pundits whatever you want to call them, people that enjoyed at positions of attention in schoolhouses, in, in jobs, in organizations, in companies, you know, even in marriages, you know, oh, the, 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 my wife looks up to me, oh, everyone, my children love me, they all looked up to me, you know, I am the source of wisdom, I am the source of... It's all coming crashing down, and Jesus Christ alone is being exalted as the Creator of knowledge, the creator of words, the, the owner of English, the owner of words. And if you don't talk about Jesus, you're, you're getting exposed as a fool. An absolute dunce. 
a complete blind man, disconnected from the vine, disconnected from the Lord, disconnected from God, and your legacy is like ashes. It's going to get blown away and your, popular, your popularity is going to get taken from you. Your fame is going to get taken from you. Your audience is going to leave you. And, and mark my words, young people and beautiful people and children of all ages are going to listen to true men of God. But more importantly, they're going to listen to God himself. They're going to study the words for themselves. And they're going to know Jesus. And they are going to reject any and all teachers that do not begin and end their messages with Jesus Christ. Because you're going to say, this man is a fool. This man is a lost loser. This man, I don't care how much he knows about physics or chemistry, it's like, you know, God be merciful to him to save his soul. And he'll still, I personally believe that God is going to save a ton of professors, a ton of educators, and a ton of teachers. Absolutely. They're going to repent. They're going to repent of not talking about Jesus. They're going to repent of not seeking the Bible. They're going to repent of all that. And, you know, all the knowledge that they currently have about various areas is still going to be a blessing, and they're going to see it through new eyes using a matrix. Okay? Um, no one is beyond repentance. No one is beyond God's forgiveness. Okay? But it has to happen. You must humble yourself and say, I have been a loser. I have been an idiot. I have not served as Jesus Christ. I have not sought him, and I have not listened to the voice of his prophets either. And you say, I have been an idiot. God, forgive me. And Lord, help me to serve you now, from this day forward. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. So we're on fire with this um, this title, leader. Um, let's find leader in the word. Oh, it's easy to find the word leader in word. Just pop off the O. W R D. Words. So the word words, which equals sword, equals one leader. Ooh, this is good. This is coming to my heart here because I've always known there has to be one leader. There has to be one true leader of God's choosing. There can be no other tip. There can be no two firsts. There can be no two presidents. There can be no two CEOs. There can be no two captains of the ship. There has to be one leader. And at some point, second best needs to bow down and say, okay, you need to be the leader. You do. You are the man. You are the man that God has chosen for this organization, this family, this whatever group of people it is. Just you are. You are the one God has chosen. We believe it and we're going to trust you to be the leader and we're going to actually take orders from you because we trust you. We believe in you. God has ordained it. One, this is amazing. This is profound wisdom from the Most High. The word sword equals the word words, okay? Your mouth is the most powerful thing you have, okay, spiritually. Your mouth is your sword. But do it now. So sword equals words equals one leader. Two famous titles of God in that word, words. Many titles of God, the I am, so many. But um, it's very fascinating and special to me that there's only one way to find leader mathematically in sword. That's WRD. Okay? Again, it's a plus one, a plus two, and a three. Just like we saw at the center of Jesus and the center of Jehovah. Strong confirmation. And then the OS left over is a very famous way that God makes his title one. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. You study this stuff long enough and you will know that an N and an E are a very famous common way that God declares an S in his personal names, everywhere in the English language, okay? Trust me on this, I've studied this for years. Well, N-E equals an S, okay? 14 plus five equals 19, day and night, till kingdom come for all eternity. 14 plus nine, 14 plus five always equals 19. It always has and it always will. So S-O equals one, and then W-R-D equals leader. Sword, sword as in a sword. S sword equals one leader. And in the sovereignty of God, kings throughout history were given a sword as a symbol of their ultimate authority, their ultimate power, that they were the one leader that everyone had to bow down to and heed the judgment of the king. If you didn't heed the judgment of the king, he could hack you in pieces with his sword. Okay. 
um, <clears throat> but more appropriately, sword equals words. Okay, and um, but I find it very profound that sword equals words equals one leader, one leader. And again, that W D R D can be constructed from the letters leader very easily. A W is um, yeah, a D is a D, an R is an R, and an asterisk equals W. So. So sword equals words equals one leader. Um, what else, what other famous titles of God can we find the word leader in? So this is a gold mine. Ooh, the word title. Oh yeah, TTE is leader. That's, that's awesome. That's chokingly beautiful. Say, what is your title? Leader. Ooh, that's a pretty big title. That's a very important calling, isn't it? What is your title? Leader. Wow. Ask God the Father, saying, what is your title? He has thousands of titles. But what is one of your titles? God the Father says to you, leader. That's who I am. Don't argue with me. I am am the leader. You follow. You obey. If you do not obey, you die. That's what God the Father says through Jesus Christ, his Son, by the Holy Spirit to all mankind. The Father says, I am the leader. You follow me, or you go off a cliff with the other lost sheep. That's amazing, okay, that mathematically leader is the trifork in title, T-T-E. They are the three plus twos, and then the other two letters divide by three, different by three. It's very beautiful. Say, what is your title? You know, Jesus, leader, Father, leader, Holy Spirit, leader, everyone else, imposter. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. All who ever came before me were thieves and robbers, and the sheep did not hear them. Isn't that amazing? That's why Jesus is so precious. That's why God is so precious, because he is the only one. There is only one true leader. There is only one true God. And everyone else is deceived. So, the trifork in title, T-T-E equals leader, and the other letters divide by three. That is profound revelation. Um, that's touching. What is your title? Leader. Leader at the center of Jesus. Leader in the trifork of title. The only way to find it. I'm hot on this word leader. I am so smoking hot on this word leader. Um... Um, just search for a leader in the word names. I can't resist. You just, you want to see it all. And that's why we have computers, because we don't have time. I just search for leader in Jesus Christ. Um, where else will we find this great 45? Um... Example. Let's check out the word example. Yeah, you can find a 45 um, in the word example. Ooh, it's the EXP. That's good. That's real. That's a really good trail because we know how many words begin with EXP. Experience. Expedient. In many ways. The leader is the most experienced in a given area. 
EXP equals liter. And that is the official abbreviation for um, the word experience. Like, truth be told, if you play one of those video games, you know, where your characters increase in experience, they just abbreviate it EXP. Well, EXP equals liter. It's also the beginning of the word expert. Aha, we're putting... Um, that's good. I mean, I can use the computer right now. Right now, I can use the computer. There's so much glory here. I just... Okay, so we need to find... You know what? I can open another instance of this program because I don't want to close that one. So I am now, before my very eyes, and hearing well. So we are going to find all English words that start with EXP, which is leader. Ay, ay, ay. Um, yes, and you can, from the letters in leader, just like we did with ESU and Jesus, you can build the letters EXP. So here I'm looking at, there's a ton of them. Oh my gosh, there's hundreds. There's probably 200. Not, not undoable. Manageable. There's probably over 200. Definitely over 200. Between 200 and 300 words in the English language that start with EXP, which equals leader, which is at the dead center of Jesus. This is huge wisdom staring us in the face. Um, okay. So, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. um, there's so many things going on here. Um, I gotta write this down. So, mm. so what we were, um, okay, because what 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 I found interesting. I know that leadership is example. The most powerful way to lead is by example. Um, and also with words, of course. Um, but the only way to find 45 leader in the word example is EXP. So hence this whole study on EXP now. Um, so um, here's all the English words. So now, now that we understand that EXP is declaring the title of God, leader, we can see these words, excuse me, that begin with EXP, whatever, we can see these words that begin with EXP through uh, new, a new light. So the first one is expand. Obviously, a leader is someone who expands his territory. God, the leader, is expanding his family, he's expanding his kingdom, he's expanding his church, he's, he's even expanding the universe. Um, so leaders never stop growing their kingdom, and that's God, is, that's cool. Um, in fact, the word expand equals leaders, because and equals s. Expand equals leaders, that's cool. Expandable, expanded, expander, it's uh, easy. So amazingly, like all of the first words in English that start with EXP are all expanding. And it, it ends in expanse. So the first of everything is always the most important. Like a leader is first in line. So the first word glaringly in the English language that, um, the first word in the English language, um, so much to write down, so much wisdom. Um, so expand, expand is the first word in the English language. Um, so leaders, leaders, and it's true, you see it every leaders, leadership personalities, leadership leaders are obsessed with expansion. They are ex obsessed with expansion because that's who God is, okay? God expands. Leaders are obsessed with growth and they are obsessed with expansion. That's so cool. Um, expanding, expander, expansion, expansionary, expansionist. I 
kid you not, like the first 20 words in English all related to expansion. Expansive, expansively, expansive. And now the first one that is not is expatiate. I need to look that up. Well, this is something a leader does. Expatiate means, um, talk to me. Expatiate. Expatiate means to speak or write at length or in detail. That is the very definition of a leader. Someone, let's give glory to the spoken word. Someone who speaks at length and in detail. That's what I'm doing right now. I am expatiating on the glories of the word expatiate mathematically for the great leader of leaders, God. Ooh, that's good. So it's the beginning of the word expound. Wow. The word expound is leader, love, in order. Glaring. The word expound is leader, love. Leader, love. Um, you can spend more time in uh, what I see with expatiate. It starts with leader. Leaders express themselves. Leaders expound themselves. Leaders expand. Leaders expatiate. So this concept of expressing, speaking. Leaders are constantly opening their mouths and speaking all the time. They never shut up. And see, that's the problem that, that I have with the world today. But see, this is God is growing me. And, but the, the biggest problem we have in the world today is that the false leaders are doing all the talking and the true leaders aren't opening their mouths. That's a problem. Okay. Um, <clears throat> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> and the reason they aren't opening their mouths is because they have nothing to say, because they haven't learned from God. And so, so I love so expatiate starts with leader, um, ends in God, the famous eight. The root there has great, the I am is in there, lots of stuff, but we're focusing on leadership qualities right now. So leaders, um, so, so leaders, they expound. This is amazing though. The first word is that leaders expand. They expand their own knowledge in a given area. Then they, ex first they expand up here. Then they expound out here to <laughs> expand, expound, expatiate, um, leaders expand, they expound, they expatiate. Um, So expatiator, going this way, is the great leader. That's God, the ultimate expatiator. Um, oh boy, so much wisdom. An expatriate is a person who lives outside their native country. Okay, That would be somewhat leadership if they were... Um, expect. Of course, leaders expect. Leaders expect the best from themselves, and they expect the best from God, and they expect great things to happen. Ooh, so when you say, I'm expecting, like a woman, that's leader at the front, and then father at the back. The word expecting is leader, father. Expecting, expectorant, and then expedience. Um, convenient and practical. If it is, yeah, convenient, advantageous. Useful, beneficial, 
practical, prudent, wise, judicious, sensible, expedient. Um, it ends in sun. Lots of stuff in there. Okay, we'll just we'll expedite to burn it fast or burn through something faster. Oh, all these things are, are very um, leaderly words. Expedition. That ends in father. Um, expel. Leaders really do expel. Like, who was it that kicked you out of your school? Well, clearly the leader did. The principal did. The le leaders expel people and things from their company that are not following the vision. That's profound. Um, leaders expend themselves. Let's see. Expend is a glorious word. This is huge because Christ's title end is on the end of expend and it, and it equals I am. Expend equals I am leader. But the EXP at the front is leader and then the end is I am. To, to, to expend is to spend or to use up. It's kind of like the word spend, but um, it's kind of like the word spend, but more extreme, I would say. Like if you say leaders spend themselves, or you say leaders expend themselves, there, there's like this extreme, to me it's, it's like you've used it up to the last drop, like you totally expend yourself. Leaders expend themselves, they expound until they are...